What's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Slime Quest TV. Today we're getting out on the water and we're putting a little test together. What is going to get the clearest side imaging? The Helix 9 G2N Mega Imaging or the Helix 7 G3N unit. We're going to go out, we're going to put both these cameras on the units, we're going to drive past some structure and see what's getting the clearest image. And uh, what I've heard is the Helix 7 is getting a clearer image than the Helix 9 G2N. So we're going to go check this out right now. You're not going to want to miss this week on Slime Quest TV. All right, guys. So right here, I'm actually showing you guys the difference in these screens. This is the 9-inch screen, Humminbird Helix Gen 2 Mega. And back there is the Gen 3. And uh, I know there's a little bit more glare on this screen, guys. But... You can just see the difference. Let me get a little bit tighter to this bank. But this is this is side by side comparison. You can see this rip wrap right here. We got some nice concrete rip wrap, and that's what we're looking over here on the left. And uh, you can see that right there. Clean as day. You can see all this rip wrap. These these are rocks. Uh, that's a fish right there. But you can see how it's just, I got the screen maybe a little bit. We're actually going to change this chart speed down just a little bit. So it's coming by a little bit slower. And uh, those are all the rocks and the stuff here on the left. All right, guys, now you can see the difference between my nine and the seven. I'm almost like, man, I need to put the seven, the Humminbird Helix seven on the dash because the side imaging is just incredible. You know, maybe put this unit back there. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do, but that seven screen just blows my mind, guys. Uh, network these units together, guys. That is not a side imaging unit. I just networked them together and I'm getting side imaging on that Humminbird Helix 7. It's incredible. I saved a bunch of money doing that. I mean, I saved three, dollars $400 getting that unit that doesn't have Mega because I already have a Mega unit and a Mega transducer. So uh, I'm also going to get back here. I'm also going to show you guys how to hook up the, you know, the 2D and because uh, I'm going to have the 2D going off my front, uh, Minn Kota, Tarova, uh, trolling motor, and then... Uh, and that's going off this other uh, Gen 1 Humminbird right here. So I'm gonna show you guys a couple more settings and uh, show you why these Mega, or these why these Humminbird Helix 7s are just so incredible. 